Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 18th May 2023, the 6th and last Calvary class submarine Vakshir was launched and commenced her maiden sea trial. The submarine is planned to be inducted by 2024. With the launch of Vakshir, the substantial submarine manufacturing capabilities of Mazgaon Dock Limited is set to become idle, bringing an end to Navy's Project 75 to acquire six conventional class submarines. Indian Navy currently operates 16 diesel attack conventional submarines, which includes five Kalbari or Scorpion class, seven Sindhu Ghosh or Kilo class, and four Sishumar or Type 209 classes of submarines. In order to further boost its submarine strength, Indian Navy has initiated Project 75I under which six conventional submarines are to be built with AIP. The German firm TKMS had signed a memorandum of understanding with Mazgaon Docks and Shipbuilders Limited for Project 75I. The South Korean firm Hanwha Ocean, formerly known as Dao, has shown interest in India's Project 75I submarine project with their KSS-3 Batch 2 submarine. However, this project will take another two years to get finalized and 10 more years for first submarine to be inducted. In interim, Indian Navy is periodically upgrading its older fleet of submarines in order to increase their operational life. The Navy's Russian Kilo class submarines are already under process of medium refit life certification or MRLC process to extend their service life. Navy has signed a contract with Russia to extend service life of its four Kilo class submarines. The extensive refit was picked at Rs 5000 crore under project 08773. The upgrade will not only extend the life of the boats but will also upgrade their combat potential. The first submarine to be sent was INS Sindhu Keshri that will be fitted with club land attack cruise missile. As per latest reports, INS Sindhu Ratna, which was undergoing a protracted refit come life extension upgrade, has joined Indian Navy in May 2023. It is the second of the four Russian Kilo class submarines. INS Sindhu Kirti, another Russian made Kilo class submarine, is also undergoing midlife upgrade at Hindustan Shipyard Limited. The submarine will undergo 22 months of retrofitting. On 30th June 2023, Ministry of Defence has signed a contract worth Rs 2,725 crore with Mazgaon Dock Limited for medium refit and life certification of submarine INS Shankush. The delivery of submarine post MRLC will be in 2016. After completion of MRLC, INS Shankush will be combat ready and will join active fleet of Indian Navy with upgraded combat capability. India is also upgrading its fleet of newly inducted Calvary class submarines with DRDO AIP system to further improve its underwater endurance. On 23rd January 2023, an agreement was signed between senior officials of NMRL and Naval Group France in Mumbai to extend cooperation to enter into detailed design phase of integration of indigenous AIP in the Calvary class submarine. As a part of agreement, the French Naval Group will certify the AIP design for integration in the submarines. On 22nd June 2023, LNT and DRDO signed another contract for realization of two air independent propulsion system modules for Calvary class submarines of Indian Navy. DRDO has transferred technology of its AIP to LNT. These modules constitute the core of fuel cell based AIP system developed by NMRL with LNT being the prime partner. Indian Navy is also considering three more Calvary class submarines fitted with AIP system. The latest report indicates that MDL will soon get order for three more Calvary class submarines equipped with AIP. The approval may come in upcoming DAC meeting. This order will also help to avoid MDL's submarine building pipeline from becoming idle. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, 
do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector